Stadium for a Stones Bitter Division 1 clash between Warrington and Bradford Northern. Teams already met twice this season when Warrington got defeated 26-15 odds earlier in the season and that epic final win a few weeks ago at Eddingley when Warrington won 12-2. So Bradford Northern will be coming here today looking for a bit of revenge. Got a chance before the Warrington team comes out to give you the Northern team. Northern team on the park. Number one, Ian Wilkinson. Number two, Gerald Cardell. Number three, Darrell Shelford. Number four, Phil Allowell. Number five, Hugh Gums, newcomer to the Northern ranks. Number six, Roger Simpson. Number seven, Neil Summers. Number eight, David Hobbs. Number nine, Brian Noble. Number ten, John Amer. Number eleven, Clay Richards. Number twelve, Carl Fairbanks. And number thirteen, John Pendlebury. Substitutes for Bradford Northern, fourteen, David Croft. And fifteen, Paul Medley. Right, the Warrington team. The mascot on the field now today, I've been told, I've got to mention him, the young lad, and his name is David Foster. He's eight years of age and he attends Bruce Junior School. David's a keen Warrington fan, plays for Wollstone Rovers under nines, and likes Mike Gregory, Des Drummond and Dwayne Mann as his favourite players. Well, when you've got three players like that and you're liking a lot, they can't be wrong with a little lad and he's out there with him, he's jumping up and down. Anyway, good luck to the lad today. So, back down to the basics. Give you the Warrington team now. At number one, David Lyon. Number two, Desi Drummond. Number three, Alan Bateman. Number four, Chrissy Rudd. Number five, Tony Farnley. Number six, welcome return, Chris O'Sullivan. Number seven, Kevin Ellis. Number eight, Neil Arman. Number nine, Dwayne Mann. Number ten, Phil Sumner. Number eleven, Gary Mercer. Number twelve, Billy McGinter. And at number thirteen, Paul Cullen. Subs for the wire at 14, Martin Crompton and 15, Gary Tees. Referee for today's game, an old favourite of Warrington. We've not won a game with this lad in charge, Mr Ollerton of Wigan. Let's hope it's third time lucky for the wire today with Mr Ollerton in charge. Well, Warrington after going to Eddingley on Wednesday, we got a good draw there, 20 apiece, but I think we should have come away with both points. But confidence is high in the Warrington team. Desi Drummond loves the captain set. Uh, Gary Mercer loves it in the second row everything's just going right and not only that, the A-team's come good this year as well, they're on a song as well, they've won four games on the run so it's going right through the club so, let's get down to this game now this afternoon Warrington and Bradford Northern both Warrington just one place in front of Northern, one point difference so the winner will go We'll go, Warrington win it, they'll go three points clear of Northern. If Northern win, they'll go one clear. So Warrington, playing towards the railway end, get the game underway. And it's Simpson, who's been brought in from centre to stand off today. I think Barry, uh, the David Hobbs, the coach, reckons that Simpson had better there than out in the centre. And here's big Craig Richards, he's coming to the team for Paul Medley. Big lad, this Craig Richards, had a good game last week in the under-21s at France. So, Northern, and it's John Amer, never has a bad game, this lad for Northern, Ex a policeman, good boy, and here's Northern Hobbs, this will be Hobbs's ploy, the long kick, but David Lyon places himself exceptionally well, and offside, referee makes Carl Fairbank offside, never give Warrington ten yards, so the first penalty goes to the wire, pitch looking good, considering the weather we've had over the last few days, but Sand has been put down, but he's in excellent condition. So, Warrington looking for early start here on the attack. But the kick don't go into touch. Bad mistake by Warrington. And Wilkinson comes forward with it. Big boy, this Wilkinson. He looks bigger than any of the forwards on the field. Oops. He goes down. So, Northern now on the halfway line. In possession, Noble. Outside now, switching it. Pendlebury, the playmaker. Bit of a mix-up. Play on, says the referee. Hallowell picked up a loose ball there, looked a bit of a knock on, but the referee let it go. Noble, Hobbs, long one. Simpson, Simpson's got Richards running in, but he misses him out and he gets tackled. Still on the halfway line, last tackle, says the referee. So Norvin, look for Hobbs here again with the kick. Gets his kick off, gets it a bit better. David Lyon, brilliantly taken by David Lyon. I'm sure he's got a thing to show Mal Riley. He wants to be in that British team, and there's people say he should be. And here's another lad who wants to be in that team too, Kevin Ellis. I think David Hobbs has made that switch at half-back, bringing in Simpson with Ellis in mind. 
because Ellis tortured Brad Eaty in the final at Leeds three weeks ago, and he doesn't want that happening again. Dwayne Mann, good run from acting half back by Dwayne Mann, but good as goes down to tackling of Neil Summers and David Hobbs. So Warrington now on the halfway line, long ball, David Lyon, big kick. But this time it's taken by the new boy. Well, play on. Well, bitter nerves by Hugh Gums. And he's tackled, but he looks a bit like Martin of Fire. That's early nerves for you, I think, by you, Gums, but he got away with it. So, Northern now in their own 25, in possession. Play on the blind side here, but Warrington read it well and tackled it out. So, Northern again, Hamer, using these big forwards now, Northern, as they did in the final, to try and make ground. And Warrington caught offside. Mr. Ollerton, two Warrington players offside, midway between the 25 and halfway. So Northern get their first penalty. So it looks like Northern are using the same tactics. They've been known and renowned for having a big pack, and that's what they've got. But Sauce tells me the pack's not been playing up to standard, and it's the backs who's been doing the work in the last few weeks for Northern. This time he fine touch. Just 30 yards out from the Warrington line. So Northern in a first attacking position. Set move on here. Hugh Gums. The Martin of Fire look-alike. This lad, Hugh Gums. Anyway, let's spy Gum. Miss Richards gives it to big John Aimer. Again, these forwards driving in. Ten yards out now, Northern. Sumner, first receiver. He's got Pendleberry. Pendleberry's got Miss Richards. Gives it back to Fairbank. Fairbank still going. Gets it to Hobbs. But Hobbs can't get it out. Play on, says the referee. Wilkinson. Pendleberry finds a gap. Just can't get over. Six again, says the referee. So Bradford now with an excellent backwards. And it's good, good play by Paul Cohen. He drags Aimer back ten yards. So Warrington now still on the defensive. Hobbs. Wilkinson. Simpson. But too close to the touchline for Simpson to give it to Shelford. And Warrington close it down. Still Northern, though, in possession. Sumner, Hobbs, run round, back outside, Chelford. And he loses it. Forward pass, but it looked like a Warrington player touched that. But the referee reckoned it didn't, so Warrington will get the head and ball, and that's a let off for the wire. Well, what an exciting first five minutes here. So, Warrington, Kevin Ellis, goes round on the blind side, puts this ball in, gets it out. Got Tony Farnley coming from the wing. But Simpson brings him down, good tackling by Simpson. So Warrington now looking to get out of their own 25. They'll use the same ploy now. But Bateman runs into a pack of three Bradford defenders. Dwayne Mann is young Sumner. Good running by Sumner, shoves Aimer off. But Aimer goes back and completes the tackle. Dwayne Mann, Gary Mercer. Good tackling, good play by Warrington. Desi Drummond. He goes round Gums. So, Desi Drummond already gone round Gums. This lad really nervous. So, he knows what he's up against now, this Gums. McKet gets it out. Oh, Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan, a lovely ball. But Ellis just can't hold it. Play on, says the referee. So, Cardle. Oh, no way down for Cardle. As Bateman brings him down. So, Warrington. This game started 100 miles an hour here. Wilkinson. Big boy, bigger than any forward on the field, takes some stopping, but this time Sumner's bring him to an halt. Simpson, Craig Richards, big boy Craig Richards, looking to unload, but Warrington old man and ball. Craig Richards, brother of Basil Richards, so Noble, Pendleberry, Pendleberry's got Fairbank with him, but Fairbank can't get alongside, still Bradford though. No black in half back. Hobbs, look for the kick from Hobbs. Hobbs gets the kick away. This time he gets behind David Lyon. But David Lyon's got a bit of space here. Picks it up just short of the try line. Comes forward, but got tackling. Cordell and Shelford. Good play by Bradford. So Warrington, finally now. He'll have to come forward again. Sumner in with a tackle. Still 10 yards from the Warrington try line, but Warrington in possession. Neil Armin. Hobbs in the tackle, along with Richards. So Warrington using the same ploy now. Here's Mercer, Pendleberry, O'Sullivan, but good play by Hallowell. So Warrington finding it hard, getting out of their own 25, but good Sumner spots a bit of a gap, but it's closed down. Fairbanks there and Pendleberry. So last tackle, says the referee. Look for the big kick from David Lyon. 
David Lyons, Cordell now, he's got plenty of time here for this. What can Cordell do? Picks the ball up, decides he's going on his own. But there's O'Sullivan with a tackle out by Sumner. Good play by the Warrington forwards. So, Bradford, there's big Wilkinson. But no way through this time. He's tackled the two rugby union boys, Bateman and Ellis, bring him down. Go on the blind side, Craig Richards, and again, Bateman in with a tackle. Good tackling downstairs. Can't go without your legs. Noble. Sumner. Sumner changed today. Outside to Red. This is the danger, man. Fairbanks, Cal Fairbanks, he missed the final, and Warrington will be aware this lad's very dangerous when he's got the ball. Here's Hobbs, Hobbs throws a long one, Wilkinson, but again runs in too close to Shelford, and the last tackle, says the referee. This game, 100 mile an hour stuff at the moment. Here's Hobbs again, this time Hobbs finds touch, so it'll be a scrum down, midway between the try line and Warrington 25, well... Just get chance to have a breather. This game, it's like 100 mile an hour stuff, I'm telling you. Remember, Bradford's not played in midweek, and Warrington has, so Bradford will be the fresher. But Bradford struggled last week to beat the amateur team, Lee East. And again, a bad play. So David Lyon just manages to get out of his in-goal area. Scrappy play by Warrington. Bradford really pressurising Warrington here, as Bateman tries to come away. And that's not called for. Should be penalised for that. Should a certain. And Brian Noble, a policeman. This time Noble's being choked off. Punching in the tackle. It looked more like knees in the tackle to me. And the Warrington physio comes on for Bateman, but he's all right. He's got the number, number nine, he's telling him. PC Noble. So, it's Warrington now on the 25. Finding it hard to go forward against this strong Bradford defence. But... I must say, this Bradford team are really lying up. They're not giving Warrington any room. And I'm sure that's what David Hobbs has told his troops as Billy McGinty tries to come forward. 3-4, again it goes in. And again, Ollerton misses it. Carl Fairbank the one in this time with a fist clenched. Mercer, but got in no room, Warrington. Bradford closing it down. Carl Fairbank's having a cracking game for Northern. Here's Neil Armand. Neil Arman trying to get through, but close down again. Aim brings him down. So here's Lyon. Again, gets the kick off. Gets it. Wilkinson tries to take it first time and makes a meal of it. And old Sullivan's there. Gets his pass out, though, to Simpson. Simpson's got some room. But he can't unload it. And Cullen finishes it off. Bit rough there. Paul Cullen got away with that. Ops. Long one. Shelford does well to take that, but he can't feed it to Cardle. But stays in play. Goodbye play by Shelford. Cardle. Richards. Forward pass, said the crowd on the far side, but the referee says play on. And it's still. What's that? Knock on his give. Well, that was a shocking decision. The ball went backwards, and Bradford should have been allowed to play on. Mr. Ollerton blew up. And David Hobbs is quite rightly asking him. Sure, the referee was out of order there, and David Hobbs knows it. So Warrington head and ball on the halfway line. Got a let off there. Ellis gets it out. Oh, Sullivan. Lyon now linking up. Rudd got Lyon going here, but too close, and Alowell does a good job on Lyon. So, Lyon on. Alowell, Mr. Ollerton, getting under the wrath of the Bradford players. That's two, two decisions gone against Bradford in the last minute. And the Bradford players not happy with it. So, Warrington now first chance of attacking in the Bradford half. But Northern are really lying up. And they're not giving Warrington any room. You can bet your life that David Hobbs, he's watched that video time and again at that final. And he knows what they've got to do. Amen. Hobbs is there, and Amos there, and Craig Richards is there, and Carl Fairbanks is there. They're all there. They're all working for one another. Mercer. But this time the tackle by Noble. So, Warrington now applying a bit of pressure. First time in the Bradford 25, but just look at this. Bradford forward pass, and the referee was right on this occasion. But Bradford Northern, as soon as the ball's come from acting half back, they're lying right in amongst Warrington, and Warrington's not got any room. 
some would say it was offside, but I'll let you judge that one for yourself. So, it'll be young Sumner played at standoff in the final, gone up to scrum out today, and he gets it in and he gets it out. Fair gives it to Wilkinson, Simpson now. Simpson looking for room, but oh, Sullivan with a perfect tackle round the pins. Shelford misses it, gives it to Pendlebury, forward pass again, but the referee missed it. Pendlebury was well in front of Shelford. It's Aimer, but Aimer can't go anywhere. Paul Cullen there. So, Northern now. Sumner. Fairbank looking to unload it. Fairbank, this is the man. You've got to get him. Don't let him stand in the... Again with a big kick. And this time a good one. But the bounce favours Warrington and Farley... Again, the good followers are there, that's the game. It's no good kicking the ball down the field if you're not going to chase it. And Bradford's doing just that. And again, Firebank's in with a clenched fist. Reverie have to keep an eye on number 12. That's twice he's gone in with a clenched fist. Aimer, strong running by young Armin. So, Warrington now, just outside their own 25. Neil Armin, Pendlebury in with a tackle along with Fairbank. Warrington finding it hard. The better kicking it in this game. Mercer. Mercer, no, oh, good play. This time he gets it out. Good play. And again, the referee had touched a forward pass. And I must be honest, it didn't look forward to me. Well, the decision's going against both teams. I was directly in line with that. And to be honest, it wasn't forward. But Mr. Ollerton's different. He uses a different optician to me, Mr. Ollerton. So... It's Bradford Eden ball on the halfway line. Sumner to put it in. So Sumner gets it in. None, none of the scrums gone against the head. And it is Alliwell linking up on the far side with Wilkinson, but Warrington read it. So Simpson acting half back. Sumner. Wilkinson with him. Looking for a bit of a gap. Sumner, but no way through. Cullen shuts it right down. Good play by Paul Cullen. So Simpson. Simpson looking good in the standoff position. He's got that bit of zip that's been lacking in recent weeks for Northern. Switching it wide. Fairbank. Fairbank unloads it. Good play. Get Brad Gums away, but Desi Drummond's there. And I must say, it looked like Hugh Gums went in touch voluntary there. He looks a bit fair to me, this Hugh Gums. Don't seem to have much bottle, but... I can't really tell, but I'm just going on the last 15 minutes. He seems to have a little heart, this number five. Maybe he'll find me wrong. Ellis gets it out. Sumner well playing, though, on the blind side. Read that move well, and Ellis is tackled. So, Warrington now. Again, Bradford Northern's right in the Warrington line again. So, the referee's got to get on top of this offside. I mean, there's Northern, though, they're onside on this occasion. Sullivan, Sull Cullen. Cullen holds on to it though on this occasion when it had been better passing it. So Warrington now lying deep here. Big gap between the centre and Drummond. No one there as Rudd comes over now to fill that gap. Well, this is a different Northern team till in the final there. Giving what it and here's Gum's chance again. Well, let's see how big his heart is here. He's trying to go down Drummond. But Drummond read it well. He went round a good run by this Gums. He took Drummond on for pace on the outside. And Drummond had to retrieve the situation. Simpson now. In the middle of the park for Norvin. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Reverick, Paul Cullen, alleged fist in the tackle. So, Norvin, first chance to put points on the board. It's going the same way as the final. Remember, in the final, Hobbs, after 15 minutes, put two points on the board for Norvin. And it looks like it's going the same way. But two strong defences on display here today. Dower game, really, if you like this kind of rugby league. But I prefer this attacking stuff. I hate this forward battles. But if it's good for Bradford and it gets them the points, well, good luck to him. To David Hobbs, straight in front, 25 yards out. He should blow this one over, Hobbsy. It's gone. Ob's no mistake. And it only just went in. Just snuck it in. So David Ob's after 17 minutes opens the account for Bradford.
Well, the ploy, tackling Warrington out. He's doing well for Northern so far. And Warrington, for the first 15 minutes, has, don't seem to have an answer to it. So, O'Sullivan, long one. Again, Craig Richards, no, Simpson, Wilkinson, good ploy. Give this big fullback any yard, and he gets up and still comes forward. That's what you call good play. Was all, he was already down once, but was up back on his feet like a jackrabbit. Craig Richards running out wide for Northern. That's the ploy. I think David Hobbs bring Richards in. And in the second half, a fresh pair of legs up in David Medley. So, Paul Medley, I'm sorry, as Pendlebury gets tackled on the Bradford 25. But Hobbs getting ready for the kick again here. Aimer. Aimer coming on the blind side, but he's well tackled again. So... Northern now using this forwards and then Hobbs with a big kick and here's Hobbs again. Gets it out to Sumner this time and Sumner skies one downfield. David Lyon safe as houses. So all on now. And he goes round one player but Hobbs Noble's there with Pendlebury. So Warrington now restart 10 yards in their own half. Desi Drummond now looking for a bit of room. He gets it out. Now oh! Well, Hobbs now, chance, gums. But, like I say, never feeble attempt to go round Rudd there by you, gums. And Drummond was out of position. Fairbank, this is the man to watch, but Dwayne Mann goes correctly, brings him down. Northern now, still in possession. Simpson, Pendlebury. Pendlebury's got Richards coming on the outside. He can't unload it, though. Simpson had a gap there, and Richards too, but... Pendlebury held on, Wilkinson, Aimer, Aimer going blindside, Shelford, but he runs into posse of Warrington players, so that move's not working for Northern, going on the blindside, they'd be better fanning it out here, Simpson, Sumner, Fairbank, Fairbank does well, but Mercer's there, good, and he loses it, backwards said the referee, Sumner, yeah. and Hallowell goes in, well, what a bad mistake from Warrington. And Ella Will goes in for the opening score. Northern fans delighted up here in the gantry. So, Warrington not happy with that. They reckon there was a bit of a knock on earlier with Fairbank. But Ollerton let it go. Well, I warned you before the match. We've not won a game with Ollerton in charge. And it's going the same course. <laughs> So, Hallowell converts his own try, right in front, no problem, over it goes. So, what a shock scoreboard, it reads Warrington nil, Bradford Northern 8, and the Bradford contingent rubbing their hands with glee up here on the gantry, or is it cold? So, Warrington now, they've come back from bigger things than this, they've got a lot on their hands now though. Like I say, this Northern team's come here today with one thing in mind, and that was revenge for that Regal Cup final. And up to now, they're doing well. Simpson now. Bit of confidence flowing through Northern now. So Northern, their own 25 now. Wilkinson using him as a big forward coming through. So... Craig Richards, no way through. So, Warrington, now we've got to get the ball and get a score on the board. The longer this game goes, the more Bradford will like it. Hobbs, now here's the kick again. And again, Warrington plays well. Farnley this time. Stops it with his foot, picks it up, comes forward. But again, kick. You've got to have chasers. And Bradford have got just that today. Shelford and Pendlebury chasing everything on the park. So... Warrington in possession now on the halfway line. Might seem to find it hard against this northern defence. So, Warrington now, they'll have to use something different than forwards if they want to win this game. Ellis, 
O'Sullivan, he's got Bateman, but Ellis there. And again, obstruction. And the penalty will go to Northern. Penalty for Kevin Ellis, shoving a Bradford player, Noble, out of the way. And the referee was spot on on this occasion. So, Bradford getting the bounce of the green now. And Medley's getting warmed up now. Looks like maybe Hobbs or Aim will be going off. And this is the kind of game Medley will be in his element. And it's David Hobbs who's coming off for Bradford. Well, he must have got a knock earlier. I've not seen him get injured, but it seems strange he didn't take the goal kick. And they've now got the sheet up. Number eight, Hobbs, and Medley's coming on. So, Northern make a switch in the 20th minute as Pendleberry runs into man. Northern again, looking for more points. Hobbs seems to be all right to me as he gets that ball out to Aimer. And again, Warrington finding it hard, bringing these big Northern forwards down. Wilkinson, Fairbank, Fairbank, he's trying to go through, but Sullivan read it. Simpson now acting half-back. Sumner, Sumner, Pendleberry, Richards, Richards looking to go forward, but that's a brilliant tackle by Sumner. Last tackle, says the referee, is Pendleberry trying a drop attempt. Feeble, though, know, well wide. So Warrington will restart with a 25 tap. Referee, Kleinsman trying to get the attention of the referee to bring Medley on. Mercer now. So Pendleberry in the tackle again. Got to penalise him for sure. Bit slow there, Mr. Rollerton. And again for 10 yards for talking. Well, Carl Fairbanks should know better. And he's still mouthing it. Keep your mouth shut, Carl, lad, if you want to stay on for the 80 minutes. So, David Lyon now with a penalty, 10 yards inside the Warrington half. And the substitution's finally made. Medley for Hobbs. So, maybe Hobbs is just a tactical ploy now. Maybe he feels this Medley can do well in this game. So, Warrington now. Desi Drummond. But Fairbanks is there. And it's Warrington now. Just outside the 25. Cullen, but the Bradford fans here. Warrington not happy with this. Man, again, Warrington lose possession. So, Warrington's yet to go through six tackles. Wilkinson, almost through to Shelford. And a forward pass again. Well, I don't know this referee. I mean, this didn't look forward to me on this occasion. Well, this Mr. Ollerton, he, he's doing everything opposite to what I see. So it's Warrington Eden ball, Ellis. Sullivan, Lyon now linking up. But Simpson's in with a tackle. Good tackle by Simpson. Warrington now, O'Sullivan a little chip, and there's Gums, but it goes into touch, harmless, out of arm's way. And we're having a few problems with the video here now. So, things are fine, everything back to normal in the gantry, as the scrum down on the Northern 25. Wilkinson. Simpson, Simpson goes round, good play by Simpson, and good cover tackle by Ellis. Simpson's enjoying himself today. Shelford, Shelford gives it to Cordell, Cordell coming back inside, and he loses 10 yards. So, Warrington now defending well there. Fairbank going on the blind side, he seems to have spotted a weakness over there, Carl Fairbank. But Warrington shut it down. Warrington now got a tackle here as Fairbank again unloads it. Good play to Sumner. Sumner shows the ball and O'Sullivan drags him down. So both our ba half backs playing well for Northern today. Here's Pendleberry now with a kick. Again, Lyons there. Good placing by Lyon. And Warrington come forward again. And again, Shelford's there along with Fe Aimer. So it's only Farley trying to go through. He's tackled. Bradford's tackling excellent in this game. As Armand comes forward. Well, excellent Bradford tackling here. Mercer. 
But again, the tackling's there, Richards and Pendlebury. Warrington's got to find something different, eh? And O'Sullivan, good play by Fairbank when it looked like O'Sullivan was through. Ellis, up and under. And Ellis now, can he go forward, put everyone on side? Play on! So six again. So Warrington now, settle it down, just slow things down. They're going too fast, Warrington, at the moment. Just slow it down a little bit. Things will come right if you play slower. 100 mile an hour stuff's no good all the time as Sumner comes forward, but he's held up. So Warrington now, got to fan it out where the gaps are. Ellis, O'Sullivan, run round again though. And a forward pass. Well, this referee, I don't know where he's looking for these forward passes. That was definitely two yards back to David Lyon. And Lyon didn't like it neither. He had something to say about it. So, and the, with, so Sumner now had them ball in their own 25. But Northern leading, 12 points to nil. Wilkinson trying to go down to O'Sullivan, but O'Sullivan sticks to his job. Good tackling by the little man. Simpson now. Pendlebury, Alliwell. Still going, Alliwell. Warrington not finishing the tackles off and giving North an extra yardage. Fairbank looking to unload, but Billy McGinty holds him up, along with Phil Sumner. Here's, Pendle Here's Medley, trying to get a bit of space out wide, Medley. You can't give Medley any room. Richards, Shelford, Cordell. Well, nice play by Ellis, and Cardell makes a monkey of it. Well, a bit of a missed kick there by Gerald Cardell, and Warrington recovered. Bateman, and Northern well offside. Well, no wonder the fans are shouting. Bradford was stood in the Warrington line then, and the referee don't want to know. Well, uh, he's found something wrong, and I, I don't think Cardell did anything wrong. And Pendlebury rightly wants to know why. Well, what a, well, we've seen them all here today. This bloke's a winner. So David Lyon now. Penalty to Warrington. Fine touch, halfway line, but still Warrington finding it hard. They can't get into Bradford 25. But I must say, Bradford again, well offside over there. Well, this referee is atrocious. Simpson and Sumner are standing in the Warrington line. Chance, Lyon, but just gets caught in the tackle. Well, Warrington now, looking dangerous there, but Lyon was just tripped in the tackle. Ellis, Mercer, but there's the tackle in Bay Fairbank and Medley. So Warrington now, searching for a way through this northern defence. Here's a chance, and again the tackle. Penalty, Simpson this time, punching again, so... Warrington will get the first crack at goal. 25 yards out. Well, this referee, he's seeing things that's not happening. I think he must have been in the bar before this match. He's drunk. Well, Warrington get a penalty. Don't ask me what for. As Martin Compton gets the sand bucket on. So, Warrington first chance of some points on the board. 25 yards out about, maybe 10, 5 yards to the right of the sticks. Vital kick for Warrington this. But, so. Not a bad crowd here today. The weather's changed, not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. As David Lyon now tees his shot up. 25 yards out, about 10 to the right of the sticks. Important kick for David Lyon. Vital kick this. Mm, give Warrington a bit of zip if it, this one goes over. But as it is, it's Bradford still leading eight points to nil. And David Lyon, he takes his time. He knows, he knows how vital this goal kick is. So, David Lyon now, what can he do with this one? Looks good. That sails between the sticks. And the fans tell you what, that went through. So, after 32 minutes, Warrington get the first points. 
So, Northern now. Bring it to the halfway line. John Pendleberry to restart now for Northern. Remember, 32 minutes gone. It's Warrington 2, Bradford Northern 8. And Phil Sumner now goes off. And Gary Tease comes on. The ex barra boy, he comes back on first game, back after injury, and he had a good A-team game. And he's come on the park now. Warrington just juggling the forwards around, I think, at the moment. No wrong with Sumner. So, Pendleberry restarts with a long one. Sullivan, soccer style, picks it up. Gives it to Desi Drummond, but there's two second rowers are there for Northern. Richards and Fairbank. Fairbank makes a big difference to this Northern team. Misses out, man, this time, and he has to go on his own. Bit of a misunderstanding between Gary Tees and Dwayne, man. Mercer looking for some room, but Bradford not giving him any room at the moment. Closing Warrington right down. Neil Armand, bit of room here. Unloads it. But again, the pass goes astray when Cullen should have passed it straight away. There was a gap there, but the pass went to ground. And so Northern will get the head and ball 35 yards out from the Warrington try line. So Sumner gets this one in. Pendleberry picks this one up. Nellis does well to go on the blind side, watching Sumner. So Northern back in possession. 30 yards out. Pendleberry, Aimer, he'll go forward, this big boy. But he can't unload it as McGinty brings him to ground. Noble, Pendleberry, Simpson's got Wilkinson. Wilkinson now going forward, can't unload in the tackle though, and he's tackle. Mercer brings him down with O'Sullivan. Still Northern though, Pendleberry. Pendleberry's got good play. Good play by Fairbank, did exceptionally well to take that ball from Pendleberry. So Northern applying some pressure here. Simpson, Wilkinson, a bit of obstructions and he lets it go. Well, I don't know. The fans don't like that. Craig Richards obstructed the Warrington player and the referee let it go. Last tackle. And he kicks it straight into touch. And the touch touch said he bounced well. I've seen it all now. That ball went one yard over the line and the linesman's got his flag up. Well, I don't know. So scrum down. Warrington players looking astonished at the touch judge. So Ellis gets it in. And offside there. Bradford again. Farnley. No room, no. Simpson and Wilkinson shut it down as soon as he comes forward. Offside at last. And Pendleberry outrageous there. No need for it. And there's Eimer running in as well. Well, no need for this shanky business. They've been found offside. That was the end of the matter till Pendleberry decided to use a bit of chinny chinny on Mercer. And Mercer took a, a didn't like dislike to it, and then Eimer come in. This is what makes rugby league brawl start. No need for it. And he almost hits the camera. He's not. He's not Mike Gregory off his chair. There'll be Mike Gregory out for two more games. So Warrington now. Ellis. Oh Sullivan goes round Pendleberry this time. Good play. They knew the Bradford forwards rushing in offside. He just stepped to one side, and they all went running past. Gary Tees. But Bradford's strong tackling. I must give credit to this Northern pack. They've tackled their hearts out in this first half. Oh, Sullivan, trying to switch it, but another misunderstanding with him and McGinty. Mercer, Mercer looking for a bit of space, but Sumner and Richards go with him. Ellis, long one. Chance here, chances. But again, can't unload. Good tackling by Northern. O'Sullivan gets a kick away. There's Gums again. Gums has got a chance now. What will Gums do? Yeah, he seems to have no heart, this lad. As soon as he sees the player in front, he seems to slow down. Instead, I mean, he's a big lad. He could go straight through him, but that seems to be his fault at the moment. Just not running strong when players are in front. Yeah. Gary Tees using a bit of the old Mike Tyson there on Brian Noble. I don't think Noble will like that. So, so Northern now again, they're kicking in this gantry, I don't know who is the dislike up here, but they've got someone in mind, I hope that ball's not got my name on it. So Brian Noble gives it inside Aimer, 
Two PCs again in this Bradford front row. PC 49 and PC 50. Noble and Aimer. And there's Richards coming in now. He's had a good game, Richards. Big boy. And Bradford will be extremely happy with the first half display here at Widderspool this afternoon. Pendlebury. He's goes forward. But again, Warrington's tackling's there. Noble. Out wide. Here's Fairbank getting a chance. Medley. That's where Medley likes to be. But he misunderstood it. Still going. Well, shocking. How he got through that tackling, I don't know. Well, that is atrocious tackling. He shoved off five or six tackles. He should have been buried 30 yards back. And what a time to score. Right on half time. Well, now you know why Medley come on for Hobbs. But that Warrington tackling. He must have threw off four or five Warrington players there. And he's not a big bloke, but by gum, he did the rest. He went over. So, that is a shocker, that. that will really hit home to Warrington, right on half-time. David Hobbs knew what he was doing when he went off and brought Medley on. And there's the result, a 30-yard dash by Medley, shoving off everyone in his way. And the Bradford fans like it. So, Alliwell now, trying to convert Medley's try, relatively easy enough, and no problem. No, misses it. Well, what a bad miss. That could be vital. So, it's Warrington 2, Bradford Northern 12. Well, I think Brian Johnson will be bashing some ears at half time after that tackling. I mean, that's the difference in this game so far. Bradford Northern's tackling's been superb as O'Sullivan restarts against Simpson to Wilkinson. Using big Wilkinson to come forward again. And again, he's shrugging out of tackling. Well, Brian Johnson has a saying, defence wins games. Well, if that was defence play by Warrington there, they don't deserve to win this game because that was shocking tackling. But the thing now, they've got to put that behind him. That's a scrum down, correct. Fair. Aimer lost that one, no one touched him, so Warrington now, a bit of a chance here. This is the nearest they've been to the Northern line. So Warrington now, just 10 yards out. Cullen, chance there, we've got to switch it, chances. But again, O'Sullivan holds it up. And there's the Uter. Well, Bradford Northern now leave the field there. Well pleased with the first half showing. It's Warrington 2. A penalty by David Lyon, Bradford Northern 12, tries by Allowell and Medley. Penalty by Hobbs and a conversion by Allowell. And the half-time score, Warrington 2, Bradford Northern 12. Welcome back for this second half. First division encounter between Bradford Northern and Warrington here at Widderspool. And the Northern players are really cocky now. It's half-time score, Warrington 2, Northern 12. And the two tries, Medley and Allowell, both by bad tackling in the Warrington defence. So Warrington now, they've got it all to do if they want to get two points from this game. They need to have a bit more initiative on the attack and they need to tighten up the defence. So Pendlebury gets the game, second half underway. One consolation, Warrington are playing towards the house of pain in this second half and that could make a difference. As Drummond comes forward and Richards grabs him. Dwayne Mann now acting half, back and again. 
the Northern tacklers in three and four, all working for one another. Neil Armin, but again, there's no room as Fairbanks and Pendlebury shut him down. And Gary Tees does well, shoves up Fairbank, and Fairbanks goes running to the referee. Well, I've seen it all now. Medley, I mean, sorry. Lion now, long kick. Wilkinson now got plenty of room now, and he's got gums with him. But he decides to go on his own, and Mercer brings him down along with Rudd. Well, moments earlier, Medley reckoned he, he got handed off by a Warrington four, and he didn't like it. And again, the penalty. Well, Warrington not happy again. Kevin Ellis doing a jig there, but the referees penalised him, pulling the ball out in the tackle. So, Northern get another penalty. Neil Summers this time with a kick penalty for Bradford Northern. So, Northern now back in the Warrington half. A bit slow now here as Summers comes. A bit of a set move here, but Warrington won't fall for this. Pent to Wilkinson. And I must say, that excellent set piece has lost them 20 yards. Well, so much for set pieces. They lost 10, 15 yards on that. Here's Cordell. But no way round over on that far side. So, Noble. Noble going through, acting half back. Good run by Noble. So, Fairbank. Fairbank again the tackling, but he just brought to ground. Almost through Fairbank. A bit of a knock on there, but Reverie goes on as Amer comes forward. Oh, Bradford forward now working for one another. All doing the share of work. There's Pendlebury. Good kick. This time he finds Tony Farnley and Tony Farnley trying to look for a bit of space. But just closed down by Pen Pendlebury. And Noble, so Warrington now. A Neil Armin. So Warrington aware now. They want an early score to bring them back in this game. But Northern, the tackling still strong. Gary Tees. And again, Medley this time goes in. No, it's PC Noble. No, it's Fairbank again. Going in with a clenched fist, and the referee spotted it. Got to be careful, Carl Fairbank. The thing is a good player, but he seems to lose his head on a few occasions. Just come back from suspension. So now the house of pain getting behind the Warrington team now. Wants a score here, Warrington. As Gary Tees takes up first running, gets into the Northern 25. So Warrington now, 25 yards out. What can they do here? McGinty still going, but Richards did well there. So Warrington. As you can hear, the fans here. Chances, but Cullen holds the ball again when he had Bateman through. He's going to let that ball go, Paul Cullen, and again a penalty. Well, this referee, he's made it plain. He's not having any hanky-panky round to play the ball, and it's going against both teams. This time, Darrell Shelford's the one who gets penalised. So, David Lyon, chance of two points for Warrington. 20 yards out. As Martin Crompton brings on the sand bucket, I'm sure Martin would like to get on the field of play and see what he could do. And I'm sure Brian Johnson will have him on in the next 15 minutes or so. He could be the spark that could lift Warrington this afternoon, but at the moment, they're finding it very hard going against a very resolute Bradford Northern six. So, Lyon, 20 yards out, about five to the left of the sticks. Hallowell just missed one from a similar position for Northern from the medley try. So, it's a vital goal kick. And put Warrington 12-4 behind. So, David Lyon taking his time, as all good kickers do nowadays. And it's no problem, it just drifts it in, only just like. So, Warrington get the second goal of the afternoon. So, five minutes of the second half. It's Warrington 4, Bradford Northern 12. But it's tries Warrington want now, not goals. Yeah. 
so Pendlebury uh, reset reset charge for Northern long one Ellis tries to stop it McGinty does it picks it up but he runs into the defense Warrington now got to come out of their own half using the forwards now as Dwayne Mann's meet and it pinched out him but this time it's all right well Warrington not happy with a penalty well he's let it go well I think a penalty was in order there and Carl Fairbank not happy and Warrington get the penalty for talking well Carl Fairbank it was Brian Noble who was doing the chit chat ex Great Britain captain but I'm sure he's got reason to feel aggrieved because the ball was definitely pulled out of Carl Fairbanks's hand and he's not happy about it but once the referee gives the decision that's nothing you can do so Warrington get a break there as Gary Tease comes forward now to Warrington back in the northern half Gary Mercer having a quiet game really because Northern's surrounding him giving him no space Every time he gets the ball, there's two or three Northern forwards round him. O'Sullivan, and again the tackling's keen, Noble and Aimer. McGinty, again grounded though by the Northern tackling, strong Northern tackling. Neil Armin going on the blind side, but Medley follows him with Neil Summers, and he's brought to ground, so... Warrington finding it hard to find a way through here today. O'Sullivan, Bateman. And Gums picks up a loose Warrington ball. But he does well to stay in play, young Hugh Gums. So, Northern. And Carl Fairbanks pointing his finger now. Surely they should know, they've just got to get on with the game. Summers, Armour. Neil Aymer, he got no way through John Aymer this time. Northern fans now giving their team some encouragement as Noble sells a dummy and he goes down. Gary Tease brings him down. Well, I think Carl Fairbanks better get involved in the game than start talking to the referee all the time. Pendlebury straight to Drummond, though. And he's given a knock on. Well, Pezzy Drummond looks like he stops it with his legs. The referee's given a knock on. Well, this referee's having a cracking game. I'm sure he's with. On it, I don't know. I think he thinks Jeremy Beadle's here today and he's being framed. Simpson. But closed down by O'Sullivan and David Lyon. Shelford goes in assisting. So, Northern, chance again here now. Neil Summers, Wilkinson. He's got Cordell with him. Can he get his pass out? Gets it out to Cordell. Cordell now going backwards. But it goes back and a good tackle by Dwayne, man. So Cordell not really had a chance to get into this game so far. Pendlebury, he loses possession. And Ellis goes down bravely at the feet of Aimer. So. Well, the referee let it go again. Pendlebury kicking in the tackle. Well. This referee, he is definitely a winner. And he's got him offside. I don't believe it. Well, I don't believe it. Surely he's made a mistake there. Bradford were onside. So, David Lyon comes forward for the penalty. All Northern offside there. And at last the referee spots it. So, Warrington now again on the attack. The fans giving him some encouragement. Gary Tease, first receiver, but there's Richards. So, again, blindside this time, O'Sullivan, but again, good tackling, Halliwell closed it down, did very well there, Halliwell on O'Sullivan, having a good game, Phil Halliwell for Bradford, Mercer, but again, no room to move, they're all in on him, every time he gets the ball, one, two, three, Northern players round him, they've got his number. So, it'd be Warrington's best idea now, it'd be to use Mercer to drag in the tacklers, and then switch it on the other side. Chance now, Neil Armin. But Pendlebury tackles downstairs, McGinty. Good tackle by Fairbank when it looked like McGinty was through. Chance, kick through. But again, Gums comes away with it. Good play by Gums. 
Saved another situation for Narvin. He's making me eat my words, this gums, as Wilkinson. That's good tackling, Warrington now with the tails up. Kendall Berry. No Warrington now, they're tackling now. So Narvin, it's certainly livening up this game. No way through again. And a penalty for Warrington. Set the goal. I don't know what it's for, but it's against Narvin. I think it's talking again by Fairbank. Well, he's doing more talking than anyone. Fairbank again, talking. He wants to learn to keep quiet, Fairbank. It's Fairbank number 12, as far as I'm concerned. It's Fairbank. Have a look. One under the sticks now, with his head bound. Wasn't Pendlebury at all. There he is, Fairbank. Right. Because I've not got a tenner in my pocket. It doesn't matter if it does, really. Oh, you're stupid. So, bad, bad play by Winoven. Bad disciplinary, that isn't David Hobbs won't be happy with it. It was either John Pendlebury or Cal Fairbank. The Northern commentator says it was Pendlebury. I'm sticking to my guns and saying it was Fairbank. So, David Lyon, this is really a vital kick. It'll put Warrington within a try and go the Northern if he can get this one over. So, about 15 yards out, five yards to the right of the sticks. Can he get this one between the H's? Is it? Well, what a bad miss, and he don't even put the ball out. So, what a bad mistake by David Lyon. Well, he's got to forget it and get on with the game. As Shelford, Warrington in fast now. As Wilkinson trying to come forward, but again the Warrington tackling strong. They're learning from this Northern team. That's the way to tackle, and Richards. Well, that's brilliant tackling now. We should have done this in the first half. Pendlebury gets his kick away, and it's a beauty. No, again, bounce favours Warrington. David Lyon now. It's best getting on with his game. He'll get that goal kick behind him as soon as possible. Farnley unloads it. Mercer, but Cardell's there, and Pendlebury. And they shove him back. So that's good defence by Northern. Chances! But oh, O'Sullivan shut down. Shelford in with a tackle along with Aimer. So now, this game, both teams doing the tackling. Mercer again, no way. Every time he gets it, there's three there. And it's the last tackle. Warrington failed to make much room on that one. Man gets his kick away, but there's Gums again. Young Huey Gums, he's getting more confidence as this game goes on. And this time he runs straight. Good running by Gums. Well, this Gums, he's having a much brighter game than his other wingman, Cardell. But he looks like he's caught a leg injury on this occasion. And he's down, along with a Warrington player, Cullen. But Cullen's up quickly. He's holding his right arm, Paul Cullen. And it's his right leg on Gums. So both teams got an injury here, Simpson. Sumner back inside, Aimer and Warrington pick it up. Bad mistake by John Aimer, bit of a misunderstanding. So, Warrington now, Neil Armin. Dwayne Mann, but the tackling strong as ever by Northern. Spearing, got to be penalised for that. Got to be penalised. That is terrible tackling, that. Spearing. Well, Brian Noble the one. That is shocking. He should be in the bin for 10 for that. There's no need. The game's hard enough without doing that. But I think Dwayne Mann might be making a bit of a meal of it myself. I hope he's not, though. I mean, this spear in, they've been told to stop it. I've seen players sent off for it. There's no consistency with referees this season. And Dwayne Mann, thankfully, up on his feet. Warrington get the penalty. Spear in. And again, Fairbanks having a chat. He wants to learn to shut up. Get on with the game. Number 12 again there. He's doing more. He's got more, more lip than the Tetlers have got tea bags, this Fairbank. Got to, to 
tend to keep his trap shut though and get on with the game. He's a good footballer when he plays football. But keep opening his mouth. He could cost Bradford Northern this game. So, David Lyon now, 45 yards out. Most difficult kick of the three he's had so far. Just missed a simple one. It's just like Dave put this one straight between the H's. And again, Noble talking. Now, this has got to stop this back chatting. I'm sure Ellerly Henry must have been having a word with him all. He's the lad who started this mouth packing chat, back chat. So, Dave Lyon, 45 yards out. I wouldn't say directly in front, it's a difficult kick. Good, good one. And the crowd suck it in. Well, you can never tell. He misses one from 15 yards out, and then he puts that one over from 45. So Warrington back in the game. So Warrington six, Northern 12. But Northern's the ones who scored the tries. Warrington's got no tries on the board so far, and Northern's got two. So. Pendlebury restarts, now this game will really come alive. Just a try and a goal in it now. But, so, Pendlebury, long one. Ellis underneath it, to Mercer, first receiver. So Warrington now, using the forwards now to come out of their own half now. I'm sure if Warrington could get a try, this Bradford team would be rattled. Cullen, but again, the tackling strong. Pendlebury in with a tackle. Medley missed the tackle on this occasion. Dwayne Mann, back up after his spearing, and Amy brings him down. Here's you comes again. By God, this lad's having a good game. Good tackling, but he's had a good game, this Gums, give him credit. He's a newcomer to Rugby League, relatively new, but he's getting stuck in. I said earlier he's not got much heart, well, I'll take that back. The lad's coming forward more and more as the game goes on, and he wants more of the ball. So, Northern, Pendlebury on the far side, still going forward, Pendlebury. Good run by Pendle, by Fairbank. So, Northern. Here's John Amer now. But he's tackled. Last tackle, says the referee. So, get ready for Pendlebury. You know, it's summer. Summer good, but it looks straight in. So, Warrington will get the ball here. Looks a bit rattled now. So, turnover. Is this the chance Warrington want now? Trying a goal we need here. But... Up to now, we've been unable to break this Bradford defence. Forward, well forward, and he got away with it. Ellis, well, Warrington got a break there. Well, the touch judge surely got to keep his eye on things as Dwayne Mann goes forward. But the tackling, Richards is there, along with Aimer. Mann plays it to himself. Almost through Dwayne Mann. Five yards out now, Warrington. Ellis. Chance all. Dave Lyon knocked on, just couldn't hold it. Over that. Well, that's all from the good tackling. Dave Lyon had one eye on the player and one eye on the ball. And Bradford got away with it when the overlap was there. Hobbs coming back now. And met it. Richards going off. Well, Hobbs for Richards, so fresh legs for Hobbs. He only played 15 minutes, remember. And Craig Richards, he's had a storming game for Northern. And quite rightly gets a bit of a breather. But it wouldn't surprise me if we've seen him again later in this game. So, Northern Eden ball. Summers gets it in, gets it out. But. Loose forward, Cullen, and O'Sullivan there. So, Warrington's got to keep Northern down here now. As Wilkinson comes away with it. He's shoved back, though. Good defence by Warrington, and Noble almost got trampled underfoot. Medley. Medley, no way through this time for Medley. But in the first half, he found a way through, all right. Went through five or six tackles. Aimer, good running by Aimer. He's not let anyone down, this John Amer in the front row for Northern. 
Hobbs, Hobbs first touch and it's a kick again, straight to Warrington though, Lyon, Lyon looking for Drummond, Drummond looking to go round Summer, and he doesn't, good play by Young Summer, had a good game Young Summer at Scrum Half, that's been the big difference in Northern's play today, at the half-back, Summer's kept Ellis under control, and young Kevin Ellis hasn't been able to get in the game as much as he'd have liked, and all that's down to young Neil Summer. So, brain man now, Dave Lyon at in half-back, Neil Armand looking to go blind, to Cullen, but Cullen holds up again, and he's tackled directly below us here, tackling face and hard now. Man, Ellis, O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan looking inside, Mercer to Rudd, but the tackling there, strong Bradford tackling Hallowell on this occasion. Gets his kick off and it's that man Wilkinson, he's got gums with him. I think he'll go on his own, Wilkinson here. But he runs in, he almost lets a pass go to Simpson. Paul Cullen had snapped that one up. So, Northern now coming forward, Hallowell giving his forwards a break. Good play by Hallowell, giving the forwards a breather, under a lot of pressure now, Northern. Hallowell slow to his feet, the old pro trick. Pendlebury, he won't shirt, won't let anyone down, skipper of this team. And again, Mercer throwing punches. So, and ten yards for talking. Well, when will players learn to keep their mouths shut? This referee's made it clear he's having none of this back chat. First we've had Fairbank of Bradford, and now Warrington are doing it. Gary Mercer cost his team another ten yards. It could have been vital if play had been Warrington half. It could have made the difference we're going for goal. So, Northern again. Restart now. Ten yards inside the Warrington half. Summer. Aimer. Oh, tease he's good tackling downstairs. So. Pendlebury, good running by Pendlebury, good running by John Pendlebury, runs well above his weight, John Pendlebury. Hobbs, Hobbs holds it up though, and it'd have been better letting it go. So, Fairbank, Fairbank looking for a way through, he knows where to go, and he unloads it, penalty. Well, he should have been penalised, not a scrum, it's either penalty or carry on and now he's given a scrum he doesn't know what he's doing it's either a penalty to Warrington for throwing the ball in the tackle or Northern carry the ball on and he's given a scrum ridiculous he doesn't know what he's doing outrageous how he can give a scrum for that offence I don't know Ellis gets it none's gone against the head oh Sullivan though but oh, Simpson following him all over the park, not giving him any room. Mercer, but again Pendlebury. Good tackling by John Pendlebury. That's what wins your games. And again the tackling's hard. Medley, but keeps hold and Simpson comes to the assist. Ellis, O'Sullivan, there's a bit of a jink out here, but they're close, too close now. And Cliss and Rudd will have to go down with it. Too close up there, Warrington. And Wilkinson at fullback for Northern's had a relatively easy game. Ellis, but he can't unload it and he has to go down. So, that's brilliant tackling that by Northern. Especially Pendlebury. And here's the kick again, but Wilkinson's there. He's got gums with him, but I know Wilkinson, he'll go on his own. Runs into McGinty. And Ersa, and he's dragged back. Gums comes to the assist. Gums acting half back now, he'll have a run. Well, look at this lad, he's getting involved. Huey Gums, remember that name, Huey Gums. John Aimer, another good game for Northern. But still, Northern leading though, 12-6, as the minutes tick away in the second half. Bit of a forward, and he's let it go again. Well, this river is, he's a, he's a pearl, and he is. It looked a well forward. And John Amos stays down. It looked like knees in the back there on Amos. Quite rightly, they're ever making noble play. It is Hobbs. Long one. Again, lying down. It's Chrissy Rudd. Chrissy Rudd not had much to do in this game. And he's excellently tackled Shelford and Simpson. And noble. That's good play for an hooker. He's following all these kicks, this hooker. Now, chance wide. Ellis, but he can't get unloaded. Fairbanks in there. 
Banks still mouthing it off Fairbanks as John Amos still receiving attention for Northern. So, Northern short-handed here now. Warrington should get the advantage on it as Neil Armand, but again the tackling. Neil, Dwayne, Dwayne Mann still going. Good running by Dwayne Mann, good tackling by Bradford. Bradford now taking Amer off, bringing Craig Richards on. And the he stops play. I guarantee he's on the blind side of the Reverie, but not the touch, Judge surely. Cross first touch, and he stands in the tackle, he's holding his head, it looks like he's took a crack. Well, it looked like someone swung a fist there at David Croft, good running by Fairbank. But, Mercer holds him up. Well, Hobbs looking for a drop goal. Well, what a long one, David Hobbs. 40 yard drop goal, that was a beauty. He knows that's that one point they need. So, Warrington up against it again. Norvin, now we're here in the fans, Norvin. I thought they'd all gone to sleep earlier. That got drop goals woke them up. And Crompton comes on for Kevin Ellis. So, what can he do? You can thank that substitution down to number seven and Orvin Summers. He's kept a tight rein on Kevin Ellis. But now what can Martin Crompton do? As Simpson lets it bounce, picks it up. Man's there though. And 27 minutes gone. It's Northern 13, Warrington 6. Oh, I've been in, I must say, I've been impressed with the loose forward and skipper and Arvin today, Pendlebury. He's set a fine example to the rest of his team. On some occasions, he's made three tackles on the run, this Pendlebury. He's doing all the work. And people will remember him when he played for Halifax against St. Helens at Wembley. And it's a turnover. David Hobbs had no room. Penalty offside! Offside and everything, and he's just for kicking. Well, this referee, he's a pearl, and he is. Well, here's the sand bucket on again. He's got to go for goal, surely. Well, I'd have gone for goal. It's a silly mistake by Desi. I mean, we're still seven behind. So, Warrington, ten yards out now. Neil Armand. Oh, good tackling again by Norvin. Fairbanks in and Medley and Croft. Still not breached this defence, Warrington. And again the ball goes to ground. And it was Chrissy Rudd. Shelf at 40 was through. But he's put Bradford back on the attack. Good pick up by Croft. And again Mercer goes in punching. And he's got away with it again. Well, lucky man Gary Mercer there. Pendlebury. Simpson. Simpson back inside. So Simpson now. Bradford. Inside the Warrington 25. Hobbs. So, Warrington get the tap, 25. Well, you can thank Keith Ella, Ella, Ella well there. Stop Bateman getting away. I think if Bateman could have got out of that, it'd have been home, James. No. Well, it looks a bit of a badgy badgy. It was six of one, though, and half a dozen of the other. And the referee gives a 25 tap. Well, that was good play by Martin Crompton. Back on the park. He's zipping this lad. Croft. Colin in there with Medley. David Hobbs, 
and the coach of this team, he comes forward, he'd be happy with this display by Northern today. But Cro Croft, Croft is tackle though. Well, there's Pendlebury, bit of a forward, forward pass and it, again it goes off way with it. Medley gives it to Pendlebury. Good running by Summers, good running by Norvin. Well, that was good attacking play, started by John Pendlebury. And again, he puts it in touch, five yards from the Warrington line. Well, that's where Norvin want to play this game. Five yards from Warrington's try line. Well, Warrington's chance went earlier when Martin Compton went through, but his little kick over Wilkinson. So, Warrington through Rudd, Wilkinson in there with a the tackle along with Simpson. Warrington's not breached this Northern defence today. As you say, defence wins games, and Northern will be going back to Ottel with two points by the looks of it. We're in the last ten minutes now, and it's Northern 13, Warrington 6. Chris O'Sullivan tries a little chip. And now it's a chase with Wilkinson and Gums. And Wilkinson does the sensible thing. But O'Sullivan puts play back down in the Bradford 10-yard line. Hallowell, he tries to come forward. Slow to defeat now, Norvin. They know they've just got to play tackles out as Cullen goes in with a second tackle. Medley again running strong. Almost broke out of Mercer's tackle, Medley. It's Cordell, but no way round. Last tackle said there ever he watch for Obze. Gets round though this time, Medley, and he has to go down with it. No, still playing it, and Warrington will get the turnover. Bad play by Bradford. They'd have been better getting that booted upfield as my mic's falling to pieces here. So Warrington's last chance maybe now here. Seven points to drift. Can't get through this northern defence. Well marshalled by John Pendlebury. If any man deserves man of a match, number 13 and Northern would take my vote. And again, Compton again! Just can't unload! This Compton's buzzing now for Warrington. Chances! Got to get it out wide! But again, it's shut down. Well, Martin Compton's only been on the park five minutes and he's made two brilliant breaks. O'Sullivan chips it through. So... 25 tap, maybe that was Warrington's last chance, but that man Crompton, he's surely buzzing since he come on the park. So Simpson, he's tackled McGinty in there with Bateman. Croft substitute, come on remember for John Amer. Fairbank, he's not let anyone down, he's had his normal strong game. So, five minutes to go. This game looks all over, but the shouting as Noble tries to break out of Mert Cullen's tackle. It's Hobbs, Hobbs doing the sensible thing, and Desi Drummond stops it, picks it up. Well, what would do for a Desi special today? But, he's tackled, Shelford there with Summer. David Lyon, now's a chance out here, chances, Chrissy Rudd, but Cardell did well, well, and he's got the ball, Cardell, not only stopped the overlap, he come up with a ball, Gerald Cardell, Croft, holds it onto it, he noticed Dwayne Mann there, so this looks like Warrington's first defeat for 91, Wilkinson, and it's been richly deserved by this Northern team. They tackle like Tigers to a man. Switch round with Simpson, running out wide, trying to unload it out onto Hobbs, but Warrington closed him down. 
Watch for Rubs again here. He knows what he's going to do with this ball. And here's the little chip. But oh, David Lyon, plenty of room, plenty of time. And there's Medley. Medley in with a tackle. No one there for the pass. It's only Farnley. Not had much of the ball in this game. Come searching for it. It's the final four minutes now. Armin, but again, tackling downstairs. This Bradford tackling's not ceased all afternoon. McGinty again shut down. And Pendlebury again in there on the legs. Simpson does well. Under pressure from Mann. But bravely comes up with it. Simpson. Wilkinson now. Not had much to do. Well, that's the way to tackle round the legs. Saves all this hanky panky. And that's where Bateman grabs Wilkinson. Medley again looking to break out of tackles. Very deceitful, this lad, Medley. And again, he loses it. No one near him. No one near him. Correct decision this time. Medley lost the ball on his own free will. Well, Neil Armand, number eight. Brooke Warrington's the man of the match for the Warrington team. Well, I don't think there'd have been any choice if it had been from both teams. I think maybe. And a chance again here. But again, shut down by Shelford. Well, well, that's how Bradford got to the Regal final. They tackle Wigan out of the game at Central Park. And that's what they've done today here at Widderspool. They've got the double over the wire this season. And num they couldn't have done better than jumping. Now's the chances. Chances. There's a try on. There's it. Says he goes in, but is that too late? Got to get the goal over. Desi Drummond goes in for his fourth try this season. Now then, now we've got about two minutes to go, plus injury time. So the goal kick to come. That's put Warrington, that, it's made that drop goal of David Hobbs look really good now. It's like worth a thousand pound, that drop goal of Hobbs is. At the time, it didn't seem much. It made Warrington, Bradford 13, Warrington 6. But since Desi Drummond's just scored for Warrington and a chance of a conversion, that drop goal could be worth its waiting goal towards Bradford Northern. Well, I think we'll score. I think we'll score another try. I think we'll score another try. So, it's took Warrington... 78 minutes to breach this defence of Northern and richly deserved. Desi Drummond goes in and the conversion's over. So, what a match we've got on our hands. I make it, we've got about a minute and a half. But Warrington's got to get back upfield. And it makes that goal that Dave Lyon missed under the sticks seem more vital now. That might have been 14, 13 to the wire if that had gone over. Well, it wasn't to be. That try maybe would have got it ten minutes earlier. Might have been a different picture. But Northern deservedly get the two points today. They played well. So, final score at Widderspool. It's Warrington 12, Bradford 13. For Warrington, we've had four goals from David Lyon and a try by Desi Drummond. For Bradford, we've had a try by Ellowell, a try by Medley. A goal by Hobbs, a goal by Hallowell, and that precious drop goal by David Hobbs to bring the final score at Warrington 12, Bradford Northern 13.